Hi, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi taala wabarakatuh. So today, um, this is our last lecture uh, for this semester for this subject, Green Technology Hashtag. And today we're gonna see um, about Green Building Index and how it is assessed and what are the individual individual item scores. Right. Okay. So, what is Green Building Index, or known as GBI? It is actually an environmental rating system for buildings, which are developed by Pertubuhan Arkitek Malaysia, or known as PEM, and ACEM which is the Association of Consulting Engineers Malaysia and what it is for uh, this Green Building Index is for eva evaluating the environmental design and the performance of Malaysian buildings based on six uh, main criteria, which are energy efficiency indoor environmental quality sustainable site planning and management material resources the fifth one is a water efficiency and the sixth criteria is um, innovation and this uh, green building index is specifically developed for tropical weather environmental and development development uh, developmental context cultural and also the social needs of Malaysia and actually this is uh, an initiative to assist the building industry to um, towards sustainable development and this green building environmental rating system um, is specifically um, there to define the green buildings by establishing a common language uh, and standard of measurement if you uh, talk about uh, a building if you say it's platinum it's gold it's silver then everyone will understand because everyone are referring to one standard which is green building index in Malaysia and the GBI also uh, there to promote uh, integrated and whole building design so that everyone will uh, when there is rating then everyone will try to get the best rating and they are starting to integrate um, the high efficient components in their building design for example and um, the screen building index is also there to recognize and reward the environmental leadership wherever um, are in front or further in, in this uh, green story then they will be recognized through this um, rating and um, GBI is created also it is also created to transform the built environment to reduce the environmental impact and also to ensure that new build buildings remain real, uh, relevant in future and also the existing building will be retrofitted to um, better um, equipments better components with high uh, energy uh, efficiency and who can use this green building index basically everyone including project teams building owners um, building developers and also other interested parties like contractors government and also design and build contractors and um, this green building index can be used to validate environmental initiatives of the design phase of the new construction or base building ref refurbishment or construction and procurement phase of buildings and 
it is there to encourage all projects uh, to be accessed um, and if they know where they are only then they can improve uh, their environmental attributes right let's see the assessment criteria we know that they, there are six criteria just now the main criteria right and the first one is energy efficiency second one is indoor environmental quality the third one is sustainable site planning and management the fourth one is uh, material resources the fifth one is the material efficiency and the sixth one is the innovation and every criteria has their own maximum scores and if you add up all together accumulate everything then uh, the total score is 100% um, and the biggest uh, portion of uh, assessment criteria is sustainable uh, site planning and management which has 70, uh, 37% from 100 and the second one is energy efficiency that's why we are trying to um, improve the energy efficiency of hashtag system because we know the biggest contributor um, of energy efficiency in a building is um, hashtag system which is about 80 percent so if we, if we improve the hashtag system then um, indirectly we also improve the energy efficiency of the whole building and of course um, we will contribute um, a significant uh, score in this uh, green building index okay and the rating are platinum gold silver and also certified GBI um, if a building scores 86 points and above then they will award it with platinum GBI rating and if uh, the, the, the score is in between 76 and 85 points then they will be awarded gold and um, from 66 to 75 points they will be awarded silver and if um, they get a building get 50 to 65 points then um, they'll be certified as green building index and if not um, they have to score 50 and above improve all the components there uh, which can be improved uh, in terms of energy efficiency and um, yeah the building the, the the building owner and the contractors can look at all the six criteria which uh, where they can improve uh, improve then um, so that the points will also increase and um, get the um, aimed GBI rating and in Malaysia um, there is one building and it, it is an exemplary building um, in Malaysia that uh, got platinum GBI rating which is Suruhan Jaya Tenaga the diamond building and yeah, maybe if you have time then you can visit um, the building in Putrajaya right so I believe you cannot see the the details of this scoring um, so the details of this assessment criteria score but this is basically the summary of all there is a, a energy efficiency and um, under this energy efficiency um, there are several sub criteria like um, minimum energy efficiency performance um, home office connectivity uh, sustainable maintenance and so on and there are also sub uh, sub criteria under the main criteria the six criteria just now that we have uh, mentioned 
so um, you can see the details in the PDF that I'll be providing you um, so that you can see uh, what are the individual score for every um, criteria, every main criteria, and what are the marks for the sub criteria. Alright, so like I said, individual item score um, under this main criteria, which are energy efficiency, indoor environmental quality, EQ, sustainable site planning and management, ma materials and resources, water efficiency, innovation and everything. Um, all these sub criteria will be given to you in PDF uh, in ULEARN. So, this is the wrap up on this course summary. So, from this course, BMMH 4613, Green Technology Hashtag, UTEM, uh, you should be able to understand and describe the concept of green hashtag that is applied in industry and explain the factor of air quality and building related with green hashtag. You should be able uh, to discuss and explain the advantageous application of green hashtag and identify current problem in the hashtag system and discuss a new concept to replace uh, with a better, the greener hashtag concept and understand the current green mechanism that happens in Malaysia now and know what are the government initiatives um, previous and current initiatives there are fit in tariffs, incentives, tax exemption, and now net energy metering, etc., in promoting this green technology and green energy, which are uh, re renewable energy in this case, and understand the definition and also uh, the definition of uh, energy and also the material efficiency, and able to calculate the efficiency of hashtag components. And you should be familiar with several green hashtag technology and differentiate them from um, green technology and green fuel sources. So please, again, um, to recap, please uh, do not uh, confuse. So I hope you can differentiate between green technology is a green uh, components, green device, green system and uh, from green fuel sources which are renewable energy like solar, wind, uh, hydro, pico hydro um, and so on, biomass and so on and you should be able, uh, you should understand by now the importance of renewable energy as green fuel source and know what are government's initiatives in Malaysian plan overall uh, to move uh, this, um, I mean to, to push the renewable energy to front and you should be able also to calculate all related components in project management such as gain loss, cost of investment, profit written on investment which is our ROI and payback period because this is all um, very essential very important to be understood um, whether a system um, is worth to be invested in so you should be able to um, recommend uh, to the client whether um, this system or this system is suitable or worthy and you also should be able to calculate uh, green building index score and the last but not least understand the impact of halocarbon refrigerants on ozone layer and also global warming so i thank you for this semester for this wonderful semester Happy watching and good luck in your final exam. Thank you.